Hi, second grade families. Here I am with our uh, color mixing bird art. We're going to go through it step by step. I got all my supplies out here. Um, we've got the paper and the pencil. We have a circle pattern. I'm going to use this roll of tape, a black Sharpie, a green and orange crayon, some paint. You can use watercolor or tempera. I'm going to use my watercolors. And if you don't have um, watercolors or paint or tempera, you can also do this project with um, with markers if you don't have them. So I'm just going to be going through the directions step by step and here it is right in front of me. I'll move my supplies kind of to the side and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your paper so that it is horizontal which means it's going this way like the horizon. This is vertical. This way it would be horizontal. And then what I'm going to do is with my pencil I'm going to draw using my template three square or squares Ms. Moss, three circles and these are going to be my birds bodies and you can do them all in one straight line I made this one a little bit higher you know it doesn't really matter okay then you're going to um, have some fun adding some of the uh, beaks and wings and feet and tail to the birds and there's lots of different ways to do this I'm going to do it so that this bird is looking this direction and this bird is looking this direction then I'm going to have this cute bird looking straight up and so first I'm going to do the beaks to kind of orient myself of where I'd want the um, so that bird's going to be looking straight up this bird is going to be looking this direction and this bird is going to be looking this direction if you want your bird's beak to be open you would just have two triangles or if you just wanted it to have a closed beak you would just use the one triangle and then for the eyes um, if they're standing on the side like these birds are looking in and looking in you're just going to want to draw one circle for the eye and then if the bird is looking up you might want to draw two circles and then you can do um, like a pupil this one can go down you could also do it on the side like that if it's looking up you can put the pupils looking upward like that and then next if you wanted to do some um, wings or some feathers you basically could just do some squiggly lines going this way and then you can also do for the tail feathers those same squiggly lines going like that and for this bird I'm gonna do like a wing on the side kind of like that and then maybe some down at the bottom like that kind of as some wings and little tail feathers and then this guy's wing of course is gonna go the opposite direction like that and then maybe he's gonna have some fun tail feathers going down like that okay so then the next step is you're also going to um, make sure you have some feet on your birds and so I'm just gonna draw two straight lines down and then three lines and they can be straight or curved it doesn't really matter um, each of the bar birds claws would be a little bit like that and then I'm gonna do one going out this direction one going out this direction if you put a little curve in it it just gives your birds feet a little bit of um, doesn't have to be totally straight but just play around be creative with it okay and then once I've done that I'm gonna pick up my Sharpie marker and this way um, the reason you do pencils you can kind of erase some lines like I erased right there so that I can just have it be um, one part of the body and then you're going to outline your beautiful birdies with a black Sharpie marker and I should have probably had this done ahead of time so I could just switch it over. So thank you for your patience as you watch me. We can of course talk about how you want to give your bird a little bit of personality. And that comes from the facial expressions that you're going to make. You can also, I mean use my ideas, but by all means get creative with how you design your feathers. I usually use either pointed lines like you'll see there or curved lines but if you wanted to use a combination of both pointed and curved lines it really does turn out fantastic and I know that you are going to love how your cute birds turn out 
And one thing, as I'm finishing up this tracing that I want to remind you also, is that art is one of those things where you don't have to be perfect. In fact, if there's a little bit of um, shadowing that happens because of your lines, all the better. That makes it uniquely yours. All right, and you'll notice um, now that I've finished outlining with a Sharpie, I am gonna take my pencil eraser and just sort of get rid of some of those um, extra lines. So you wanna make sure you get rid of those extra lines that are there. All right, now that I've outlined the birds with a Sharpie marker, I'm going to take my orange crayon and I'm going to color the beaks with the orange crayon and make those little beaks just pop right out. Remember, if you have an opened mouth one, you want to color both the top beak and the bottom beak. And again, brush off any of the extra. And then with my green crayon, I'm going to draw some squiggly lines across the bottom, going over those feet to give the illusion that my little Tweety Birds are in the grass. And so now I have green grass, I have orange beaks, and we are ready for the fun next part. I'm gonna move away. We're all done with our um, Sharpie and our pencil and our tape. I'm gonna move those out of the way. I'm gonna scoot this back for just a minute because we're at the point of the painting. And you're gonna use this color mixing guide that you can see right here. And you'll notice that there are three birds. So the two birds on the outside are going to be the two colors that when you mix them together, you'll get the color of the bird on the inside. So here we have yellow, or yellow, red and blue would make a purple. So I think that's the one I'm gonna do today is the red on this side and the blue on this side, and then in the middle is going to be the purple bird. You could also do blue and yellow make green or any combination that's um, here on this color mixing guide, all right? So I have decided I'm gonna go with the red and the blue. So here I am getting my red and I'm gonna do this bird with the red. And of course, anytime watercolor starts getting scratchy, you know it's saying, please give me more water. So I have my red bird and I'm just going over the eye. If you wanted to take your time and do it, the eyes a different color, by all means, you are the artist, you can do that too. And of course, watercolor is fun. I got out of the lines just a little bit and in my class we always say, that's okay. Art is not meant to be perfect, it's meant to be creative. All right, so I've got my red bird on this side and then I'm going to put my blue bird on this side. And then looking back at that color mixing guide, if I have red and blue, then when I mix those two together, my middle bird is going to be a beautiful purple in the middle. Because when you mix red and blue together on the color wheel, you'll end up with a purple, a pretty purple. And so then, Going to my middle bird, I'm gonna do the mixing of the red and the blue to give that purple. And those colors just go really, really well together because as you can see on the color wheel, they're a product of mixing the colors together. And that's what artists do, they play with all kinds of colors. All right, our happy summer birds are now nicely on the grass. They're showing off their color mixing. And then if you want to, the last step of this project is if you desire, if you want to, you can color the sky. And I'm gonna do kind of a mixture of yellows and oranges to make my sky be like a fun, sunny summer day. And I'm just taking my yellow and filling in some spaces with yellow. And maybe it's gonna be like the sunset hour. And so then I could go back with my orange and you can go right over top of that that green on the bottom see how i went right over top of it and it just makes it pop out because the wax of the crayon will resist the paint then i'm blending in a little bit of orange so i have a nice beautiful 
sunset sky. And remember, watercolor is meant to be watery. That's why it's called watercolor. So don't get um, upset if the colors start blending together and aren't perfect. That's what you want it to look like. All right, friends. And there you have it. You have a beautiful color mixing bird. I can show you a couple few of the other ones that I finished up before I say goodbye to send you off. There's one with blue that you've seen maybe on your direction sheet. And here's one more with the yellow and the blue make green. So there you have it. There are our fun color mixing bird art. I hope you have an enjoyable time being creative. Let your paintbrush do all of the work and you will be so happy with the cute little birds that you will end up with. Happy art.